we tend to de divide the treatments for MS that are very many, as I said before, into m low moderate efficacy. Of course, they are associated also with less side effects. They are more easy to be used by, by clinicians. And on the other side, high efficacy treatment, uh, uh, which are uh, a little bit more dangerous, uh, but are very more potent. So the point is that there are studies showing that if you start earlier, I'm, I mean, this is a very established concept. A treatment of MS should be started as early as possible. This was acquired a few years ago. Now we are changing again the landscape by saying that the, the early treatment should be also high eff efficacy treatment. So not only early, but also high efficacy in order to block the disease as, as early as possible. Because there are many studies now showing that if you treat early with high efficacy drugs, you really prevent uh, the um, inflammatory activity of the disease and thus the uh, progression and the accumulation of disability and so the quality of life of the patients. Even a few years difference in starting this treatment is, uh, is uh, uh, impacts on the life of these patients as well as on the, uh, uh, on the healthy system because you can gain money by treating with low moderate efficacy today, but you will have more disabled patients uh, tomorrow, which means uh, an amount of costs, uh, both economically and from a personal point of view. Well, instead, if you treat with high efficacy, you spend a little bit more today, but you will prevent all these uh, problems later on. So it's also an economic advantage for, for the, for the health, health systems. So, I guess that the idea is at least to suggest these treatments to all patients, but to make them mandatory at least for those who have clear-cut bad prognostic factors of a more aggressive disease.